Okay, so our statement today reads, a coaxial cable consists of two very long cylindrical tubes separated by linear insulating material of magnetic susceptibility chi m. A current I flows down the inner conductor and returns along the outer one. In each case, the current distributes itself uniformly over the surface. Find the magnetic uh, field in the region between the tubes. As a check, calculate the magnetization and bound currents and confirm that they generate the correct field. All right, when in doubt, draw it out. So we have the two tubes separated by a uh, material with magnetic susceptibility. We see that the current runs opposite, so we have I down the inner tube of radius A and I back along the uh, outer tube of radius B, opposite directions, of course. All right, cool. So we need to apply Ampere's law. We see that we have the closed integral h dot dl is equal to I free and closed. Of course, in our um, magnetic loop or Amphirian loop, Amphirian loop, we have h equal to pi s equals I. Okay, makes sense. Um, and so if we shove this over, we see that we have h equal one or excuse me, h equal I over two pi s in the fiat direction. Okay, remember the loop has to go um, in accordance. And if we do the right-hand rule, we see that the phi hat direction is the only one that stays. Thus, if we plug into our formula, B equals mu naught, uh, parentheses 1 plus chi m equals, or times h, uh, we see exactly what the field is. Cool. We also know that the uh, magnetization is chi m times h. So that's, again, pretty quick. Both of them are pretty quick to deal with. Now we need to check. So the volume-bound current, is equal to the curl of the magnetization. Again, and we only have one direction for the magnetization, that's phi hat. So we only need one uh, curl direction, which is the z hat. And uh, as you see, that calculation yields zero because the s's cancel. And um, the partial with respect to s is of a constant, so it cancels to zero. Nice to see there. Now, of course, the surface bound current, very uh, different. That is m cross the normal direction, which is uh, going to be uh, the curl of the normal direction, which would be the phi hat. So that leads to, again, the z hat with the right-hand rule. And we see that we have chi m i over 2 pi a for s equal a. And negative, of course, because it goes in the opposite direction, chi m i over 2 pi b because s is at b. Therefore, the total enclosed current for an Ampereian loop between the cylinders will yield I plus chi m i over 2 pi a times the surface uh, circumference, which is 2 pi a. Go figure. So we're left with 1 plus chi m a as the 2 pi a's cancel. Chi m times i, excuse me. Therefore, the uh, closed integral of b dot dl is equal to mu dot i enclosed. Okay, another usefulness for an Ampere and loop. Um, and we see the right-hand side yields mu naught uh, 1 plus chi m uh, i for the i enclosed. Okay, again, we see that. And therefore, uh, oh, looks like we have a typo. But uh, therefore, we see that if we solve for um, b, we get over 2 pi s, again, in the fiat direction. So we're checked. We're good to go across the board.